Make sure to check out Gamescape San Francisco and their online store and use promo code MTR to receive 10% off. What's up, Magic the Rescuing fans? We are going to open up our first Commander Legends draft booster box here. We've been opening up some collector booster boxes, and we're going to get ourselves into a draft booster box because that's what we do. Um, cool experience with the collector boosters, with the etched foils and stuff like that, but I have heard that you can get etched foils out of these regular draft boxes too, which that's kind of cool. Now, I don't know what the pull rate is on them or anything like that, but still cool. We've got 24 packs here of 20 cards each. Different style of drafting, obviously, with a commander theme. And we are going to split it left, right, and center. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shifting packs and everything. Let's see. Four and eight. There we go. And the last final right hand side stack. We can do our normal right center left. We're going to get straight into it. We'll track mythics, we'll track any etched foils, any regular foils. And hopefully, we can pull a Mana Drain or a Jeweled Lotus. That's what we're looking for, the big dogs. And these are going to be some commons and uncommons in here that are also decent. So we'll be looking out for those. These definitely feel different from the Collector Booster cards. Ooh, Ancestral Blade. I always like that card. There's 20 cards in here. Spectral Searchlight. Ooh, and there we go. I'm I'm definitely trying to find all of the diamonds. So there's a charcoal diamond. I'm going to put it up there. Not really important for anybody else but me. Um, but yeah. Okay, we've got Angelic Armaments for our first uncommon. A Noxious Dragon. And an Ingenuity Engine. That's cool. Our rare is going to be a Flamekin Herald. Wow, Elemental Wizard. That's a cool looking card right there. Followed by our first Legendary, which is going to be Tuya Bearclaw. That's sweet. And then Sienna, Eye of the Storm. And there's a foil in every single pack. So there's our foil uncommon with the Furnace Celebration. Very cool. And then a Monarch token. All right. Well, starting off, and then you can get obviously you can get, I think up to four rares in one of these packs. So it's kind of cool. Um, we'll see if we can get any four or even three rare packs. We might get a couple two rare packs. That would be nice as well. And we will see also if we can get the good commons and uncommons and see how what the pull rate is on that. I've heard people say that the pull rate is not very high. So there's a sky diamond. So we've already got our blue and our black diamonds. That's awesome. Scrounging Bandar. First uncommon is Nadir's Nightblade. Stingerfling Spider. Oh, there we go. There's a first one. We'll put these to the side as well. Arcane Signet. And our rare is going to be a wrong turn. Oop, double rare pack. Here we go. Blim, comedic genius for the second rare of the pack. And then Rhea, master weapon smith. Or master smith, sorry. And then a Sears lantern foil. I don't even know, like, what the pull rate is for foil rares or foil mythics or mythics in general. But... We are going to try and find out Dispeller's Capsule, Flesh Bag Marauder. There's a Command Tower. That's a good one. So we'll put him down here. Scape Goliath, the Commander Sphere, Sisse's Ring, Gollum Artisan for our first uncommon, Monstrous Onslaught, and a Frenzied Saddle Brute. 
Ooh, that's a good rare pull. Hull Breacher. That's going to start us off real good there. Keskit, the Flesh Sculptor, for our legendary Uncommon, and Prava of the Steel Legion, Cat Soldier. That's cool. With a Ripscale Predator as our foil and a Soldier token, well, that Hull Breacher is definitely, in the, I think it's in the top five. Uh, top five or six cards. Definitely one of the top rares, for sure. Which is sweet. Already pulling that. This Viscera Seer, I believe, is actually worth a buck. Which is always nice for a common card. Ooh, look at the Impulsive Pilferer. Oh, he's so cool looking. That's awesome. Alright. Workshop Assistant. Armillary Sphere. And Vow of Flight for our first uncommon. Patron of the Valiant. And the Witches, the coolest artwork in this set, maybe. Oh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, there it is. The beautiful, gorgeous Jeweled Lotus. We have pulled a Jeweled, jeweled uh, uh, I can't even say it. I'm so excited. Jeweled Lotus for our first Mythic. Three packs in. We're three packs in. We already pulled a Jeweled Lotus for our Mythic. Oh my god, there it is. Sweet! And we got Nostro, Voice of the Crags for our rare, and a Krark, yes! There we go, that's a three rare pack. Uh, well, one Mythic and two rares. Wow! And then a Natural Reclamation reclamation for our foil. Oh man, let me let me take that up again. Right side coming through. Jeweled Lotus, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. That's the chase card for this set, for sure. Not sure where the regular one rests right now. Maybe around 60 bucks, which is pretty awesome. That's phenomenal. Woo! All right. Okay, well, Opal Palace is a very good common in this set. I think it's worth like a buck. That's nice. Vow of Lightning for Uncommon. Merchant Raiders. Shimmer Mirror. Shimmer Mirror. Court of Bounty. Man, we are hitting all the good stuff. Wow. Court of Bounty for a rare. Another rare. Bell Corrupted Observer. That's also a good card. And then a good Uncommon Legendary. Rogrok. Son of Raga. The Kobold Warrior Legendary Creature with a Deranged Assistant as our foil. Ooh, and there's the Prismatic Piper. So one in every six packs you're supposed to get a Prismatic Piper, so we should get four of these. We should get a whole play set of Prismatic Pipers, I believe. All right. Well, holy mackerel. We are in it to win it on this box. Jeweled Lotus already going crazy. That's just phenomenal. Farhaven Elf. I like the artwork on that card. Slith Ascendant. Terramorphic Expanse is a good common. Ooh, Hero's Blade. I like that card. Demonic Lore. Well, that's definitely a creepy card. I don't think I've seen that one yet. Kanji's Lieutenant. Necrotic Hex is a decent rare. Very nice. And another double rare pack here, Archelos Lagoon Mystic, very nice. And then Slurk, all ingesting for the Ooze Legendary creature. Oh, that is a nice foil rare, Rejuvenating Springs. Man, we are hitting the lottery on this thing. This is crazy. This is a beautiful Commander Legends box. And I will tell you right now, this right hand stack it's any indication what the rest is going to look like this is just crazy prosperous pirates Ooh, we're going pirate here with the crimson fleet commodore there elf shaman the elvish doomsayer very nice man spark tongue dragon Woo. yeah lots of pirates in this in this uh pack here Vow of Duty for the Uncommon, Meteor Golem, Warden of Evos Isle, 
Jessica's Will. That's a great rare, too. We're getting all the good rares. Obviously, we got the number one mythic in the set. Galanra, Caller of Wirewood, and Nadir, Agent of Dusknell, with the Ivy Lane Denison as the foil and a treasure token. Last pack of the right-hand side. Man, this, this stack alone is worth more than the entire box, I believe. Especially with that jeweled lotus in there. That's crazy. Woo! Okay. Ooh, I love the haunted cloak. Such cool artwork there. Very nice. Man. Eye blights. Eye blight elves. I love them. Cast down for our uncommon strength of the pack. Explosion of riches. Look at those goblins. There. Crazed by the gold. And then a bio waste blob for our rare. Oh man, another great rare. Kadama of the East Tree. A great rare legendary there. And then Arden, intrepid archaeologist. A prophetic prism foil. And another prismatic piper. So we are now two prismatic pipers in out of eight packs. That's kind of weird. All right, on to the middle stack, ladies and gentlemen. going to be very hard for this middle stack to hold a candle to that right-hand side. You would need to get, like, Mana Drain and then one other big pull. We've only gotten one Mythic so far. So one of the Mythics, there's a Terramorphic Expanse. First response for the Uncommon Reclamation Sage. Humble Defector, and a Wheel of Misfortune, yet another good rare out of the set. Dargo the Shipwrecker for the Giant Pirate. He's cool. And then Numa Jiraga Chieftain with a Kite, scale, kite Sail Skirmisher. Say that ten times fast. With an Elf Warrior token. Very cool looking Elf Warrior token. We've also slowed down on our diamonds. I think the coolest diamond out of the bunch in this set is the moss diamond the green one it's so cool looking all right what oh, foundry inspector is always cool man oh there's a marble diamond sweet see i just gotta ask for him that's three of the five now scholar of the ages Return to Dust for one of the coolest pieces of artwork, along with those witches. I love this Return to Dust. Meteor Mace. Meteoric Mace. And the Hellkite Courser for the Mythic. A Mythic Dragon. You gotta love getting a Mythic Dragon. I'm not sure where it stands in the uh, value slot, but there's another Mythic for us. Breaches, Brazen Plunderer, that's awesome. Goblin Pirate Legendary, very cool. Along with a Rumi of the Dead Tide for our other Legendary. And then a Foil Wild Size. I think it's really cool that they've included a foil in every pack as well. Um, kind of like your Masters series. And not like Modern Horizons, which is what people compare this set to. Um, so there's some you know things that are like... Modern Horizons, and there's a Fire Diamond and a Findhorn Elves. The Findhorn Elves, I think, are worth a buck. Fire Diamond, just because I'm looking for all the diamonds, and I'm only missing the Moss one now. Very cool. Mindless Automaton. Wow, that's a colorful, colorful artifact card. You don't really see a ton of color in artifact cards like that, but that's really cool. Slaughter the Strong and a Victimize. With a Chroma's Will, a very good rare. We're getting all the good rares here. A double rare, Jared Carthalian, the true heir. Very nice. And then Halana Kessig Ranger with a Sifter Worm as our foil. And another Prismatic Piper. So we're three Prismatic Pipers now. I think we're ahead of the one every six curve here. And a little behind on the Mythics, it looks like. I don't know how many Mythics you're supposed to get, but... Alright, Path of Ancestry, that's a good common. Coastline Marauders for the Uncommon Vow of Torment. 
and a pennon blade. That's a cool card. Court of Grace. Not the Court of Bounty, but the Court of Grace. Also a good card. Falthus, the Shadow Cat Familiar. And Rebek, Architect of Ascension with a Murder Foil. Very cool spirit token. We are halfway through this middle stack. We are doing awesome on this box here. Preordain, that's a good that's a good common for sure. There's that impulsive pilferer again. I think he's super cool looking. Oh, there it is, the Moss Diamond. I really like this one. I love the artwork on it. It's very cool. And that, ladies and gentlemen, means we've got all the diamonds. Well, I like that. Opal Palace, that's a good common. Sifter Worm, Guilt Leaf Winnower. Oh, I love that card. That's so cool looking too. Siren Storm Tamer. Flamekin Herald. Is that a duplicate? It is. Okay, our first duplicate rare, Flamekin Herald. And then we've got Emoti, Celebrant of Bounty, the Naga Druid with Brynlin, the Moon Kraken. Oh, and there's our first etched. So it looks like halfway through the box, we get our first etched, and it's Miara, Thorn of the Glade, uncommon etched foil with a rock token. What produces the rock token in this set? i got to take a look. So far, only one mythic, or two mythics, I'm sorry, but one gigantic mythic out of the two. So, nothing wrong with that. There's another Path of Ancestry. Sandstone Oracle. Hunter's Insight. That's a cool-looking card. Very nice on the artwork there. Oh, there's a good uncommon Thought Vessel. A couple bucks. Then the Ember Wild Captain for the rare. Rami of the Dead Tide for the Merfolk Wizard. And the Ghost of Ramirez de Pietro. I haven't seen this one yet, actually. Spirit Pirate. I don't think I've seen it at all. And, ooh, very nice. Fire Diamond Foil. I like that. That's cool. And the Monarch. Okay. Well, we've got one foil rare. One etched foil. And two Mythics so far. With three Prismatic Pipers. Charcoal Diamond, there's another one. Going for the second set now. All right. Guildless Commons for our first uncommon. Dreamstone Hedron. Volcanic Torrent. And then Court of Ambition. I actually haven't pulled this card in any of the boxes that I've opened yet. Anara, Wolvid Familiar. I love this card. That wolf beast looks amazing. Very nice, cool card there. And then Tormod, the Desecrator. Followed by a Seraph of the Dawn foil. And a copy token. All right, last pack of the middle stack. Looks like we're averaging one Mythic per stack right now. Not sure if that's good or if it's bad, but I will say this. We got the Jeweled Lotus, ladies and gentlemen, so you can't be mad about it. Terramorphic Expanse, Thirst for Knowledge, Null Caller, Supreme Will, and a Training Center. Another very good rare. We're just getting all the good rares. Alathiel, the Bounteous Dawn, very cool legendary unicorn, and then another rare, so a double rare. And then Arden, Intrepid Archaeologist, with a foil preordain. That's actually a very good foil to pull. If you're going to pull a common foil, you definitely want it to be preordained. All right, we are headed into the left-hand side, left stack, best coast, west coast. But man, it is going to be tough to beat a foil rejuvenating springs, a jeweled lotus, and all the other goodness that came out of that right-hand side. Oh, there's the trailblazer. I like that they reprinted him. Oh, there's a sky diamond. So that's funny. Charcoal and sky. So if it goes that way, it's going to be Marble Fire Moss if we can pull the second set there. Sunset Pyramid. 
Orzov Advocist, Armorcraft Judge, Amphen Mutineer for our rare, Jury Master of the Review, and an Essior Wardwing Familiar, and a Dragon Mantle Foil. That's cool. I like that. That's a cool enchantment. Very nice. Treasure token. Alright. What is our mythic out of this side going to be? Are we going to get another mythic? Is it really one per stack? It's three per box? Rummaging Goblin. Findhorn Elves. Very nice. Codex Shredder for our first uncommon ordeal of Nylea. Lore Seekers Stone. Plague Reaver for our rare. Tago Goblin Weaponsmith. Halana Kessig Ranger. And a Doomed Traveler for our foil with a soldier token. Alright, well. We are almost done here. We're about halfway through this left-hand stack. Marble Diamond. Oh, that's funny. That's right in line there. So it went Charcoal Sky Marble, Charcoal Sky Marble. Next would be a Fire and then a Moss if we were going to get the full set there. It's kind of weird. Fathom Fleet Sword Jack, Orc Pirate, a Brass Herald, and a Fencing Ace. And there's a Court of Bounty. Very, is that a duplicate cord? Did I not get one earlier? I did. Duplicate Court of Bounty is a great duplicate to get. And another Belb Corrupted Observer. That's great. And a Hamza, Guardian of Arishin, with a Kanji's, Kanji's Lieutenant as our foil uncommon. Wow. Two Courts of Bounty. That's pretty phenomenal. And then this pack will mark the last before the last half. Last before the last half of the left hand stack. Say that ten times fast. Oh, there's another seer. There's another opal palace. Very nice. Moss diamond. Nope. Okay, we're out of order this time. You're out of order. Alright. And then all we would need is a fire diamond to seal the second set of diamonds, which is cool. Lightning Rig Crew, Feast of Succession for the Seb McKinnon. Beautiful artwork there. I think that that's phenomenal. That's a crazy looking piece of art. Horizon Scholar for the Sphinx and Promise of Tomorrow. That's a cool looking piece of art too. Oh, and guess what? Seb McKinnon again. Uh, I like his art, that's for sure. Ooh, very nice Double rare pull with Amareth the Lustrous. That's a great card. And a triple rare with the Averna the Chaos Bloom. And a staunch throne guard for our foil. Man, gotten quite a few double and triple rare packs here. We've yet to pull another Mythic. We've got four packs left. Last half of this left hand stack, left side. Left coast, best coast. Here we go. All right. Another Haunted Cloak, which is just a cool-looking card. Open the Armory. Golem Artisan. Ooh, Imperious Perfect. That's a definitely a good uncommon. Ooh, with the Command Beacon. Very good rare there. Keskit, the Flesh Sculptor. Radiant, Sarah Archangel. Foil, Essier, Wardwing, Familiar. That's cool. And there's our fourth Prismatic Piper. We shouldn't get any more. That should be the last Prismatic Piper we get. Should get one playset per box, I believe. One every six packs. So that when you draft, you can always have a throw-in partner uh, commander. There's a Preordain. Nothing crazy on the uh, uncommon side. I would expect more of the uncommon uh, good cards to have come out, but they're not. So Furnace Celebration, Grafted War Gear, 
patron of the Valiant, and a Profane Transfusion. Not a great Mythic pull. Uh, it is what it is. That's our third Mythic. Quain! The Meddler, the Rabbit Wizard. He's cool. That's a double rare there. And Thelise, Reverent Medium, with a Spark Tongue Dragon for our foil. And the Monarch. Two packs left. We need a Fire Diamond, although we got the Foil Fire, fire Diamond, so I guess technically we already got two full sets of the Diamonds. Um, and one, we should get maybe one more Foil, right? One more Foil Rare? Maybe. Alright, here we go. Skilled Animator, that's a cool piece of artwork with the bookcase in the back. You know I'm a sucker for the book art. Mask of Memory. I haven't seen this card yet. Very nice. Intangible Virtue. Blasphemous Act for the Rare. Ragrock, Son of Raga. I just like saying that. That's a really cool legendary kobold warrior, obviously. Oh, ho, 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 ho. there we go. Tevesh Zat, Doom of Fools for a mythic legendary planeswalker. Very nice. Well, that's a great pull and another mythic. So that gives us four on the box, which is pretty decent. And we are going into our final pack. How are we going to end this? Oh, here we go. Last and final pack. What's it going to be? Well, how are we going to end it? Got ourselves a command tower. That's nice. Commander's Sphere is always good. Faith's Fetters, that's a good card. Vow of Wildness. Oh, and a Three Visits, that's a very good card. Very good pull. The Dawn Glade Regent for our rare. Glacian Power Stone Engineer. Kedis. Emberclaw Familiar, and our final foil. It's going to be a foil rare, Court of Ire. Not terrible, but not great. Not what we were looking for. The Rejuvenating Springs is definitely the winner there. And a zombie token. But ladies and gentlemen, we have pulled the Jeweled Lotus out of our first ever draft box of Commander Legends. It's so cool. It's amazing. I love this set. Obviously, if you like Commander, then you'll like this set. Make sure you check out the details below on how to support Magic the Rescuing. Follow us at Magic the Rescuing on Instagram. And don't forget, if you like it, like it. And if you love it, subscribe.